No RV is perfect. Unfortunately. <laughs> you can search and search and search, and you will never find an RV that has every, every single, single thing you thing want. Every single thing on your list. Yeah. It's not going to happen. Want it. yeah. uh, and the same was the case for our new alliance. Yes. We love our new alliance. It love is it. awesome. And we are having a, a blast mm -hmm. um, breaking it in and showing it off. I do. At night, sometimes <laughs> I'm just sitting there and snuggled up in a blanket because it's always cold. And I'm like looking around and I'm like, I just love our RV. <laughs> I, I just love it. I can't help it. Yeah, but um, there's a few things we didn't like so much. True. But you got to compromise with everything. Absolutely. First thing was the dining room table. It wasn't a big deal and it was able to be fixed. So some of these things we're going to talk about, we were able yeah. to adjust it and now it's no issue at all. Right. We thought we could go back to the traditional way the tables are put in. Yeah. Because being that the alliance is a little wider, we didn't feel that it impeded in the walkway. Right. And we had it for what? A little over a month? Yeah. And then, then we cut the itch and... Turned it. Turned it. <laughs> Six screws, unscrewed the screws, turned it, screwed them back in, done. Our personal preference is we want to see out the window. Yeah. All the time. When we're eating, when we're editing, whatever. We like to look out the big window. For sure. That's one of the, that's the smallest issue we have to talk about. Yeah. We'll get to the bigger ones right now. <laughs> All right, next problem. Well, where's the pantry? It's, it wasn't a problem. We don't have a pantry. The 340 doesn't come <laughs> with a pantry. Which we knew. Yes, we knew that. Go picking it. We knew this. So yes. it's not a big shocker. And it was not a deal breaker. For us. For us, yes. Because surveying the RV, we knew the, the extra wardrobe closet that they give you uh, going into the the bedroom slide yeah we were not going to need for clothes no we actually have so much extra space i mean even with turning scout space into a habitat losing that cabinet and we, we still, still don't fill the other cabinets in the living room yeah with all the storage up front in the bedroom with the front cap and then under the bed the the footstools yeah the seats the seats the benches under i mean the there's window. just a ton of storage in there yeah so we knew that was going to be just whatever space so we had a solution for that, yes. and we'll show you. Now some people with our model have modified some of their shelving in here, used their coat closet as pantry space, or up here as pantry space. Um, but what we did, like we just talked about, right upstairs in the hallway, is where we put our pantry. Now, it's labeled as a wardrobe closet, mm -hmm. but in our life, it is the pantry. Excuse the mess. <laughs> like we did in the Montana, we organized with little cubbies, little bins, baskets, and then for travel day we have tension rods to hold everything in from bouncing out and things like that. So for us, very workable pantry space. Yes, and like in our entry, the, the bar that they call it, we use those cabinets there for our everyday things. That's where our coffees, creamers, all the sugars, canned goods stay down there in the bottom. Uh, just things we frequent uh, are there in the kitchen, very accessible. The stuff that we don't, which is mostly just snack stuff, sandwich making stuff, chips, all those things are in here. We don't use them every day, so it doesn't need to be really close to the kitchen. So this is not a problem for us at all. On the outside of the RV, there's only one thing that we really didn't like. No TV. We didn't think it was going to be an issue. That's an issue. We thought, ah, we use our TV, you know, here and there. Yeah. But are we going to miss it? Probably not. Turns out we do. Yes. So we like sitting outside. We like watching TV. I like watching NASCAR and baseball. And just kind of sitting outside and enjoying that. Now, a lot of the manufacturers have gone away from putting outdoor TVs yes. on their rigs and I guess they did that through surveys they found out that well, most people don't use them right and I'm assuming that most of those people are either part-timers or most timers but for full-timers I feel like outside is another living space it is. and in my outdoor living space I want a TV yes 
Alliance doesn't put them on the paradigm. So uh, we came up with another solution, and that's Go Stick Suction Cup TV Mount. Yeah. We'll show you that. We'll show you how it works, and we'll let you know if it's going to work for us. Yeah. All right. Here's everything you get with the Go Stick accessory TV mount. You get the suction cup, and you have the plate that mounts to the back of the TV, and this will hook right into into that when it's mounted on the side of the RV. You get all your hardware to mount the plate onto the TV. You get some lubricant, and of course, you get the instructions. All right, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take the hardware that they gave us, and we're going to mount this plate on the back of this here TV. That's it. Mounts on. Let's go mount on the RV. Now you take your suction cup. You want to make sure it's a little damp in there. It says to wet it. I wouldn't lick it. It probably tastes like rubber, so I don't lick it. Get a little damp, put it on there. Once you put it on there, you're going to start pressing this little button to build up the pressure of the suction cup. And you're going to do that until it holds this orange line down below this area and you can't see it at all. So now I've pumped it enough to where you can't see the orange band anymore. So that's supposedly strong enough to hold a TV on there. It says to let this sit for like 10 minutes and make sure that none of that orange band pops back up. That means it's losing its suction. All right, it's been 10 minutes and you can see here, you can't see any more of that orange indicator on the suction cup. So that means it hasn't lost any of its suction. Now you also want to make sure that the area is clean and non-porous so it's not going to fall off. You don't want to put it over any of your vinyl decals or anything like that because that's going to impede the suction process. Now we have this mounted, we're going to go ahead and put the TV up. Now on the back, you'll see this little groove on the back of this mount plate. That's going to hook right onto the top of this mount right here. Come out here and make sure your TV is even. And uh, good to go. And the cool thing about this is you can put this anywhere. I could put this over here if I have a better living space at this RV park as opposed to another one. Like for example over here at this park our pad is over here so now I can mount the TV somewhere over here where we're going to be doing our outdoor living. To hook in the power, uh, we'll just hook up to the, to the extension cord. And there's a little port up here, or a little hole that runs up here, so you don't even have to have this open. And that's why we went with the suction mount, because the other mounts that mount in your bay and they slide out, if you do that, you have to have this door open all the time, because that mount is in the way of that door closing. But this one, that cord can go through here, you can keep that bay closed, no problem at all. Now, I know what you're saying. You're saying, dang, he left the legs on this thing. But look, the legs are pulled out enough because of the suction cup is so far away from the RV that they don't hit. And we like to have the legs on because uh, in the evening times, I'm watching the Cubs play baseball. Leslie's watching whatever Leslie's watching. And so I'll have the TV set on the island uh, and, it, and it hooks through our internet. So I'm watching it via, uh, you know, the internet so I really don't need it to be plugged into cable or anything so I can just set it right there on the island plug it in and then through the Roku because it's a Roku TV I can watch MLB.com no problem all right to remove the suction cup you just grab one of these tabs in the bottom or the top and you can just push it in until it releases you'll see that orange tab pop back up and it pulls right off the side of the RV easy well now we're getting to the stuff that we dislike the most <laughs> closet it is smaller than the Montana it is a fixable problem some of the things that we hate about the closet is fixable some is not yeah because one of the things that we don't like about it is the setup of the washer and dryer yeah well it's not my preferred setup but yet again not a deal breaker it's yeah. just a, a new routine yeah so we'll show you exactly what we're talking about all right so you can see that we have the washer on this side and the dryer on this side. In the Montana, there was a separate a closet over here by itself where they were stackable. We prefer that better because you get to use all your all your closet space. But um, it's not terrible. You either have to push clothes back or you have to remove a little bit of clothes to get in and out of these as you're doing laundry on laundry day. Yeah, so for me, when the washer, we use our washer as our hamper for one thing. It's multi-purposed gonna get washed in there anyway so you might as well just throw your dirty clothes in there so when it's time to do laundry I just slide all mine over 
and I have full access to the washer. Mm -hmm. Not a problem. When it's done, it's time to transfer from washer to dryer. This side comes over to <laughs> it. And now I can open it up and transfer clothes from the washer to the dryer. Yeah, and then the other thing is when this uh, alliance got picked up by us, uh, the way that this bar was installed, it was actually bowed in the other direction. So it was bowed that way. With the curve of the shelves. Yeah, so that was an issue with the hangers hitting the back of the shelving back there. So yeah. what we did was we just unscrewed these screws up here and we flip flopped it around to where it would bow out now and it pulled those hangers back away from the from the ledge there and it fits a lot better. Absolutely. Our clothes hang freely now. Yeah. Um, one of the things I think that Alliance could have done to maximize space was uh, open up the, the top up there. Yeah. which uh, in the Montana we had a bunch of space up there and now we really don't have that much space. Yeah, they didn't utilize the cap. And they can. They could have pushed this uh, lining further back into the cap, which would have allowed for the bar to be mounted higher, therefore the clothes hanging better and shorter, and then you would be able to see the shelves easier that are back there. Yeah. So that's all the things that we really disliked the most about the new RV. Mm -hmm. And like I said, a couple of them are already fixed. Yeah. So really not an issue, and none of these are deal breakers for us. No, it was just getting a new routine, new layout routine, of how we do things. Yes, yeah, so let us know what you think. Leave us a comment. Uh, let us know if any of these things would have been a deal breaker mm -hmm. for you. Or um, if there's something that you have in your RV that you really, really don't like or that uh, you think you should modify. Yeah. Uh, tell us about that. We like hearing stories about people modifying their RVs. Mm -hmm. And like we do at the end of all of our videos, we're going to honor a fallen hero. If you want to see all the ways that you can help us help vets while around the road, everything you need to know is down here in the description of the video. We appreciate you watching, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm. Bye. Bye.